Greetings, Commandos. This is Spaganhorn, and we're looking at 58 in the beautiful Stackpole Cruise Misadventure. Now, what's going on? Well, if you would please do some YouTube stuff. If I'm gonna insist on the YouTube stuff today a little bit more, I never pretended to be any sort of professional, nor do I look at all the metrics and the algorithm that much. But uh, the numbers are telling me that half of the people viewing right now are unsubscribed. So if you do uh, just click that button, it will help a small little channel. Thank you. All right. Now that uh, housekeeping is done, what's happening is that uh, I've uh, passed the time a schnittle bit. And I did a money for mi uh, mission for money because, you know, being in the black uh, world of Blake area is complicated. It is costly and we're losing uh, parts of mech and doing those missions are hard. Uh, we're doing mostly for salvage now, so our funds were bleeding out. So I just did a wee bit of cleaning up, selling crap, and uh, as well as money for mission. So that we could re get right back into salvaging for the main event. So that's where we are now. Still ascending around at these numbers. So, what do we got? Make yourself I mean, uh, difficulty 20 would be a thing, that's for sure. And we would probably see some interesting stuff out there. Hmm. And I could do a mission for against government to take a break. And see if they bring interesting stuff out here. I think that's what I'll do. We've been hammering at the 6 unit per lance for a little while, and it can take a toll of my on my patience. So we're going to turn around and fight the government at 18. There should still be interesting stuff. Especially in the defense. So I think that's what we'll do for today. Alright, so the group that we have now is a good 18. We're bringing out our brand new Proteus. Which I've seen in the comment... Uh, Mortius, it's probably going to be his name. I, I think I like that. So, um, yeah, we're going to name him today. All right, so we got 18 against 18 for a defend base. Uh, it's going to be a good one to check if our uh, mortar boat works as intended. Because a defense is perfect for this occasion where you can just sit back at the base you're defending and launching mortars. So that's going to be an interesting one, and I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, automation, let's roll. Command interface initiated. Gardening, blah, blah, blah. Typical stuff. Yes, I knew. Right, sure. Buildings are here. Vanguard is right there. Our engineer is somewhere around there. All right. All right, all right, all right. So we're finally not doing something with six unit per land, so we have probably eight right now. Not a huge deal. Uh, that forest looks fine. Ooh, okay, maybe it wasn't that fine. Okay, uh, fast prime mover to get uh, those turrets up. Not a lot of armor for that unit, though. Savior repair vehicle. That's not going to be very useful for the fighting. Huh. But what we have? Templars, Conquistador, Atlas, Behemoth 2, Highlander, Warthog. Wow. Bread not risk. Fuck me. Well, good thing we decided to fight the local government instead of World of Blake. And now they're just armed with Timberwolves and Dreadnoughts instead. Yes, Commander. <laughs> well then. Uh... Okay, well, we wanted the challenge. And uh, the challenge never happens the way you expect it, though. That's the nature of uh, RNG. It's sure. Ah, uh, we don't have much choice but to be aggressive, I fear. There's so much units right now, and we need to reduce that number pronto. 
I mean, we could have landed somewhere else and be farther away from our enemy. But uh, it's a bit late now. Double time. Что там еще? Right. This is a lot. They're right in front of our face as well. That war dog is gonna be definitely a problem. Thankfully, for some reason, it's already damaged. Not gonna. That's fine. I imagine the RC2 means a rack two, which is not the most dangerous a war dog can be equipped with. Wow, this, this is gonna be intense. Going full throttle. Ready for order. Uh, our Proteus is gonna stay in the forest because he's gonna be a hundred ton target. That's for sure. On my way, double time. Hundred tonners are such a disadvantage compared to heavies. In the current meta with uh Yeah, all the evasion and the you're the yeah, it's really bad. What's the plan? So, uh, uh. should we wait until we assume the position, or should we go right in right now? There's a valid point about trying to disable something right now. Roger that. Standing. Okay, okay, okay. Well, at least the turrets are in right here, right now. Even if that those two units are not going to be very useful in the incoming conflict. Speaking of not very useful, there you go. Nice little small laser. What can I do for you? All right, so my dog. Oh yeah, I'm. Uh, we need to get this guy. Why do I do one damage here? Something I've noticed lately that there's sometimes platter for nine. Just one damage. Hi. Is that an AMS thing? Partial success. Oh wow, it's already gone. Well then, I'm not gonna complain about that. To our chance of success just hey. got a uh, wee bit better. A schnittel bit better. So I'm gonna go assume the position here. All in Heavy metal. Let's do this. Yeah. Burnt. Burnt will go take a look. I mean, the behemoth, we have some beautiful 97%. Those the Templar and the Conquistador. But I'm gonna go for the tank. The tank is uh, quite dangerous. Go. You've been Orioned. Nice. The burn is not a perfect Orion, let's be honest. A few things I'd like to tweak on it. But it's still an Orion. And now we're looking at the f oh spinal mounted heavy gauss rifle. Of course you do. Looking at the face of that big guy, <laughs> getting if we get hit by that by that heavy gauss rifle, we're fucked. Something's gonna break. I wish I could try and headshot right now, but for now, three big holes in the armor, much as we can call that big ones we'll have to do so next step time. gonna see if we can get that Templar lots of AMS again that should be this guy if not quite yeah we're getting to a bigger assault so they're sometimes have enough armor to deny a one-shot kill can I hit the big guy? I can. And I think I will. He's by far the bigger threat, so... Let's unleash what we got. There you go. No more evasion for you. Got some serious pounding even for that big guy. Oh, 
Well, thankfully he unleashed on the turret. Good to go. L7. Gonna go for it. It has an AMS sensor, so maybe listen and kill were more vulnerable to um AMS is not a good idea. But 83 with dead fire. Oh yeah. Ten damage per missile. It almost cracked open. With the initiative of nine, maybe I'll be able to take it on. Oh, that Timby internal damage MMS. Oh yeah, that's wow. Bah. Everything on this map is deadly. Everything. This one is just a slightly bit, schnittle bit deadlier than others. Boink. Did we get an expose? We get an expose on the arm. Yeah. That's like the diet soda of exposed. But now we have a mortar, which do not require no to be focused on a VTOL. Do. I do have guided. Don't mind if I do. 73% is not the best. The prone distance is not helping. This should still be quite a beating. There you go. Got a hardened ferrofibrous explosion. Got an arm down. That's almost a thing. He is an Excel, so this should blow up nicely if we get in there. All right, sure. Do we go for the Templar? Highlander. The best hit chances appears to be the Conquistador. Have no doubt it will be done. That's a good beating. That's a critical hit. Fight the local government, they said. It's going to be easier, they said. Well, yeah, you were never going to be very useful, but at least, you know, you took some bullets for us for one attack. Well, the Conquistador. Ooh, he has a lot of power. He has no joke. All right, so the big guy, the three... The nine is heavy metal. Goes for a building. Okay. Oh, well, turret was useful. Boink. I will take that. I will take that. All right. So, because he's getting up. Chance of getting hit by the heavy gauss is much lower, but it is not a zero. <laughs> it it's okay. Let's hit them hard. Very well. So, heavy metal. Enjoy it some more. Still alive. That's really impressive. Must have hit all over the place, yeah. Standing by. Tempest. Position confirmed. It's all yours. There you go. Panicking, last evasive. Even the CT is open. Actually, why don't you finish the job on him? Alright. Uh huh. Well, six out of six. Mm, I'm gonna wait for a better positioning on with you. I hear ya. Mad dog, the mad dog will just step over here. Got it. 
and go crit fish. Something's gonna go boom. There you go. Alright, so that's a big threat out of the field. Off the table. I'm receiving you. Whatever expression you want to use for it's no longer gonna try and kill us. I'll take it. Waiting for orders. You sir. Double time. Gonna go harass that Templar some more. Now primed and opened. Prime and opened for this. Firing. Goes the torso. There goes the mech. Target eliminated. What's up, boss? Okay, catapult. Catapult. Heading out. Atlas is uh, having a wee bit of damage reduction thanks to the forest. This guy is less hit chances. But he's hanging out in the open in a rough terrain. So if we can hit him, it's gonna be unstable. Like that. Sadly, it's a stern right away. Ugh. Okay. Aye, aye. Receiving you. Mortar! Mortar time! Yeah. Or Orion time. Yeah. Let's. What can I do you for? Open him up with orders, and then it's gonna be a Horion. So now I have to do some math. <laughs> because I only have 30 guided left. 30 guided, that would be 24. The 6. Tur, tur, tur. Tur, tur. Okay. That's gonna go standard. Standard. There you go. We have to do math now. Right. Nice. So he's unsteady again. Major armor loss. And now we can Orion him. Major armor loss. Enjoy, buddy. You've been Orion. Okay, Nova, Nova, we'll do what the Nova Cat does. He'll wake up call for that K3. Let's hammer the same sign. Woohoo! We got a leg, he's going down. All right, so the beginning of that mission was quite scary. Nice. But thanks to the fact that the enemy was focusing most on the turrets and the base itself, we didn't get too much damage. And also thanks to the fact that we got the Dreadnought down on his ass before he could fire the big gun. That made a big difference as well. Okay, so we are expecting additional enemies next turn for now i'm just gonna f around the place to gather evasion until we know what we're facing location confirmed roger that boom see what we got heads up commander you've got hostile contacts inbound Behind us, okay. There's most likely two of them. Good to go. One of them is behind us, and they're probably gonna have spawn protection. Hey, come on. Ah, come on. What's the plan? Make you reserve. Still don't see them. Fireworm can go take a look. Okay, and the other one are even more behind us. Of course they are. Fuck me. We got a 1P full rack annihilator appear right behind our back. Dervish Frenzy. A Rhino, of course. Track Command. Fuck me, a full uh, rack annihilator. 
Okay, over there we have a bola. Cascatel. Zeus. And Templar. People have been screaming at me to get a Zeus for a while, so I'm gonna do that as soon as I can. Now, I'm not gonna be able to hit much because they have their uh, spawn evasion. To do that. Still a few scratches. But now my priority will be to turn around and see if we can, um, Turbo. I, if I fire in the back of a big guy, I can actually, maybe, solve this problem. Another hit like that and you're toast. Maybe I can solve this problem then. Uh, Mr. Burnt, you will not be able to fire on his back. You, sir, are too far away. You, sir, are too far away. Commander. Burnt is not going to have as much beautiful extra bonus. Yeah. It's still 71. Because the uh, uh, evasion ignore of these weapons can be quite useful. If you want to kill something through spawn protection, I recommend yeah, Artemis. Commander. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Okay, sir, Tempest. Same deal. I mean, the other three are dangerous, but nothing compared to this. If we get a face full of this guy, we're not going to live uh, very long. Let's go for the headshot. Let's try it. Holy shit. Okay, it's an engine destroyed. It was not a headshot. I think we hit the side torso, which was already almost breached instead of the face. But that will do nicely. So Proteus, which is going to be the most vulnerable right now, is a low evasion boy uh, with 100 ton size delta problem. So he's not going to be able to do much other than uh, try not to die in the next few minutes. It's not even worth firing. I'm just gonna vigilance him for the up upcoming uh, damage that I'm sure I'm gonna take. Roger that. Maybe the the BA with their uh, small size will have some chance to hit. So let's get in there. Maybe we can get that tank down. Maybe. Maybe I could have fired uh, the airburst at the Cascatel, but with the size difference and the evasion, I don't think it was worth it. Ready for orders. The Nova. On my way. Nova. Yeah. Do his best. I mean, we still got something open. These guys are concentrating on buildings, so I'm going to be okay. Yeah, even for these guys. Uh, pretty much just unloaded in the back of my friend there. I've done massive damage to uh, the here. Right. Should have seen that one coming. That's on me. Holy shit, we actually got it. All right. One less target. Well, it was worth the self-damage. All right, we have these two fellows here at 17. What do they got? Okay, some chaff. Damage. Fair enough, fair enough. Frenzy, cool. Could do a wee bit of missile damage. But I think... I don't think it can breach any of us. So I think we'll be okay. Oh, melee could suck. He fires on the turret. How's it going? I can work with that. Definitely work with that. Do you on top? We'll enjoy. Dead fire. Ha 
<laughs> There's still one turret active. It's working. Fire. Парни, парни, давайте еще немного, мы сможем. Absolutely. Sure, that's helpful. Not the part where it's hitting the Orion, but. I think you got him. For one second there, I was afraid I killed my own person. My own other. <laughs> I almost did. Uh, goes to show, sometimes you have to take your time before pressing fire. Might be my weakness. They found my weakness. I like to kill things fast. Okay. Hey, a panicking... Cascatel is a good thing. Orion that has a the angle is also a good thing. I'm at maximum range though. Got a no visual on you this time, okay. Good to go. Waiting on you, Commander. Acer do 46 here. 90. Tell me what to do. We can do Almost done. Wait, yes. Let's uh airburst for a finishing touch. Shall we? 91% hairburst. That is beautiful. Now that could be a lot of deadly mortar. Woo! The Proteus works. It's just he's a wee bit vulnerable as a slow 100 tonner. Uh, if he gets caught out of position, like the reinforcement that appeared behind us, it can be a bad time for him. We just have to be careful. Otherwise, it's working. The only question with the Proteus is should we remove the console? And just add stuff that will help you uh, be more accurate? Or should we keep the command console? That's my big uh, question. I'm ready. I mean, if we the console is six ton, there is a world where we will fill it with uh, six ton of uh, battle computer instead. To help it bore be more accurate and that could be a better thing to do negative damage repeat commander got it ah uh, stealth bola being hard to hit Deuce didn't do much, surprisingly. So we're gonna answer right back. Yeah, the bola is still alive. That could hurt. You're going for the turret. What's up, boss? You uh, fell. Roger. Uh, what's the best number? None of them are great. I'm just gonna sensor lock the stealth of that the damn bola. Say, so, yeah, I've had enough of you. That did the trick. Uh, uh uh sir 12 is last but not least a templar whiffing on the fireworm that's the best possible answer panicked exposed that's how i like my enemies standing by 
Shall we add to your panic? Location confirmed. Or should we fire in the back of this fellow? Both a fine choice. Locked on. Hot damn. Let's do this. Target's taking a critical hit. Good to go. You betcha. I'm gonna take those side shots Got against it. you. Should be able to break you open soon enough I'll with those beautiful you. shots. Uh, yeah, reposition for you. Bah. Digging. New battle crow. Go for it. Beautiful explosion. PPC capacitor. He's not looking too good. But now that he's a bit less of an issue, the Orion is not doing as well as usual. No visual again. Ah, the shaft. Okay. Right. I'm on it. I'm here. Tempest! There is a tempest in you! Cracked open a little bit. Now is the time to move into position. Will I be able to uh, use that position now? Because he's at initiative 20. I'm gonna go for him. Alright, well you still had one PPC. Now you can assume the position here. On my way. Double time. The other M20 might do it. Almost. Hey there. Roger. Everything you got. Should get a leg. That one's gonna leave a mark. Not quite. Didn't get the leg by how much? 15. But that did make you unstable, and now I can follow up. I think that's a Zeus down. You're not doing too great. There's a few interesting to salvage here. That Dreadnought, of course. That Zeus is also a thing. Not anymore, but, you know, for a little while, it was a thing. How might I help? And that should be it. Well then, that was exciting for a little while. Thankfully, it was a base defense mission. In a pure battle, all these guns turned toward us. We probably would have fared as well. So I'll take that as a win, and I'm very curious now to see everything we can salvage. See you in a moment. So in an impressive UNO reverse card, we might be actually getting our best shit out of local government. Well, why not? Why not? Well, the kills are pretty evenly spread around. I do like that. Golems are, of course, always being useful. I do like that every unit is pulling out, pulling its weight. To Behemoth, we have three out of four just to annoy us. Bola Tank, Cascatel, Rhino, Shrek, Templar, Warthog is a thing. That's the thing, these Warthog, uh, Ariel Acrobat Affinity 60 is plus 5 max evasion. It has 2 rack 2s. Do a lot of thing with that. I mean, a few episodes ago, I got some um, pushback because I threw away a lamb. 
Uh, that's the reason why. Why would I bother taking dozens of missions to try to salvage lamb pieces when I can just grab this, get it to 17 evasion with rack weapon? It's going to be easier to repair as well. So unless I get something marvelous, it's probably going to be that Warthog. We do have good shit, though. The MK2 is my favorite one. Light active probe. Was hoping for more C3I to complete our stuff that we're trying to find here. We have only one pin of piece of the dreadnought survive, and we do have a fucking Zeus. Or an Annihilator. Alright, well, I've been heckled a lot to do a Zeus, so I will do that. Probably for good reason. I've been sleeping on them for a long time. And then I'm gonna pick three pieces of Warthog. Okay. Fun. I get a piece of Atlas, which I don't care about. Well, this, ladies and gentlemen, might be a humongous hole, though, because I think I do have a piece of another Warthog laying about. So maybe we can build that thing. Maybe we can build a Zeus. To... I think... That was a major haul. I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright, so Zeus X2. Limited production prototype Zeus. Stuff with unique cockpit gear. Probably isn't a couple in the whole galaxy. Interesting. Well, this is Rogue Deck. I'm gonna see hundreds of Zeus until the end of this campaign. Sorry to disappoint you. Okay, so... Before I take a look at the Zeus, I want to see if I can get myself a Warthog, which would require going in storage. I think I could probably get rid of these guys. It's not like I'm going to ever use them. I don't think so. Well, I can go. I'll keep the Jess as a backup, I guess. Warthogs, indeed. The other one that I had was the was a unique one, though. With the Gauss Hag 30, yeah. That is also a monster. But let's make a Warthog ready. Some sort of flying tank? Pretty much. Now, if I can get 60 affinities and 17 evasion out of that thing... Maybe it would survive for at least a little while. And the thing is, our hero pilot, Metal, is coming back from VTOL, VTOL uh, classes. So he's going to be able to pilot it. And I can just stick my immortal hero pilot in it. Call it a day. So you had two Rack 2s. But not a lot of ammo for them, really. Just... Two bins of ammo. The rest is all heatsink. You have some nice little Argel. Sweet. Heavy ferrofibrous. Interesting. Accurate for ballistic. Alright, so these Inner Sphere Rack 2s, they were 8 tons. You have clan rack twos that are eight tons. It's a bigger number of slots though, four slots, so you don't take it. How about some ultra ten? Ultra tens are ten tons. No, you won't. Ah, uh, so it's actually a bit limited what I can do. I actually don't have a single thing that I can put in it at the moment. Except maybe some light EC5. Fuck. If I could have three, two Ultra 5s, it would actually be not too shabby. Firing 4 times 44 damage. Right. There's a bit of a letdown here that I cannot actually put it to use. Would that be a thing? A mortar warthog? 
Would that be a thing? Hmm. The thing is, I won't have enough room for ammo to be properly useful because it would need uh, air bursts, you would need guided, you would need inferno. I only have two ammo slots. This is very restricting. I don't know if it will be useful right now. I have this that I can repair. Can I put down a daisy cutter somewhere? Be nice. Too heavy. What about that? Too heavy. Okay. I'm a bit disappointed. There's not a lot of things that I can do with you right now. I need some something. Eight tons and six heat. Wow. Okay. Well, it's not a loss. I'm just gonna have to find something to put in there. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Okay. Well, uh, on that note. So what the frack is it with the X2? Or any forms of uh, Zeus X something. We have a reactive plating. 30% resistance to ballistic and missile, but more vulnerable to energy. Okay. We have a composite. Minus 50 structure point. That's um, liability. I don't think I'll be running you with a composite. UAV compartment, sure. Stability, gyro, sure. What is it that is... Plus one accuracy with range weapon. Minus one recoil with range weapon. Well, you have my attention now. Allow battle computer upgrade. Wait. Wait a moment. So this fire control system has accuracy... Recall reduction and allows battle computer. Improve call shot location by 10%. This is better than the man, fire control. Or even better than the MK2. I get it now. Whomever was uh, berating me in the comments for leaving out the Zeus. I, I get it now. We're right. Deuce Cockpit, initiative and minus 10% damage taken. Huh. Well then. Prototype Command Computer. 5% increased sensor range for the company. 5% increased sight range for the company. Plus one initiative for all company unit. Bonus of two to sensor detecting probe. Allow detection of minefield. Okay. I get it now. I get it now. You need a Zeus. I got it. Okay. Right. Right. Hmm. Gain entrance after walking. Uh... So, gaining entrance would means. Damage reduction, which would add with the 10% here, the less damage taken, which would add with uh, even more resistance against ballistic and missile. I get it now. Get it now. And this minus 10% damage taken would, in theory, nullify the minus 10, da minus 10 resistance to energy based attack. So you would be neutral energy thanks to the cockpit aha uh -huh. I understand now I am now enlightened hmm okay uh, do we go into a Zeus building spree well I'm not gonna do composite 
That's for sure. Uh, do I have a proper engine for 80 tonner? I don't know. 340? That might actually be exactly what I need. Be the 64. What about a 335? Be the 64. What about a 320? Still 64. What about 300? Now we go down to 35. All right, 320 it is. With a reasonable speed of 64. Now we excel you. 38 tons of uh, uh, remaining is not as much as something like an Orion. But it's still respectable, especially since uh, how tough you are. Orion can get 45, 46 tons. Hmm. What's your affinity? Can't see it from here. Minus 10% company resolve cost for Mechwire skill. Wow. All right, all right, I'm sold. I am sold. I am sold. We could make this a second headshotting map. Because uh, this counts as a headshotter. 10% improved called shot location. Uh, the Tempest out there is our only means of uh, shooting people in the head. Or we could say, fuck it. Go big. Oh, you don't have any ballistic at all. Never mind. At all. Not a big energy guy. I've I prefer lots and lots of pure firepower. Because it is impossible to rack up 500 alpha damage with the ERPPCs. Too much heat. I'm thinking. I mean, there is this. If we apply an arrow 4 into direct fire mode, because it is fairly useless in any other fashion, with guided, that can only be fired in direct fire, with 20 damage directly to internals. 20 damage directly to internal with an arrow for guided, it would be a headshot. Insta kill. How about that? How about that? Okay, I think we have a plan. Do we have the required headshot? We do. We have one more. Thus, uh, the plan. The plan becomes. Plan becomes. Plan become thus. Arrow four. Joint. Arrow four with. Direct fire. Guided. Putting it here with the case too. And these are five per bin, right? Yes. Okay. Then follow it up with the classic ERPPC. Uh, PPC. Which will mean, both of these will mean a shit ton of heat, so we're gonna have to work on that. I don't know if I'll be able to put a third weapon, head clipping weapon. But between these two, it's gonna hurt. So, let's worry about the heat right now. Radical would be nice. Radical, I'm at Quinton, dissipation. Yoinks. 
33 heat now. The radical is prototype, right? But I don't have any prototype. Who earns? That would be a radical D. Alright, if I go classic clan. Now how are 33 heat delta, but I can cram emergency coolant plus two. No, I just want to hinge an heat sink. This is compact heat sink. I wish I had some prototype right now. Put this here. That leaves me at 27, which is a lot. But before we go on something else, if I put the heat DC, suddenly we're at 17. And if I thermal exchanger you, suddenly we are at 2. And zoom instead of a UAV. You have a thing. You have a thing. Now, how do we improve these things' accuracy? Do I have I upper recall plus is the thing that I wish I had right now. Do have a weapon mount? recoil but none of these do recoil but nonetheless it is still plus one accuracy ah like weapon mount accuracy plus upper recoil plus would have been the thing but you know black pole crew never had everything it need uh, we always have to do make do with what we have. Gonna put the weapon mount recoil. I know this thing doesn't recoil, but it's still a plus one accuracy for minimal tonnage. That's what we want with our arrow four. All right, now let's do these things. Energy would be good. Because we do have an ERPPC. Dream range, of course. Gunnery, of course. Headshot. Shot. I'm gonna put it here, because it's the precious one. Indirect. No. Long range. Range. Plus 10% range. Tracking. Evasion, ignore. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And then we go to this and give you classic active probe and guardian. Now you are kitted out. It's only two weapon though, and your total alpha strike damage is only 175, which is not, you know, some of our other like the Orion can pump out over 450. But your goal is to headshot and destabilize people. Do so that the, something like the Orion can follow up. Last thing we can add is probably AMS in terms of defense. Uh, there's not enough room for an advance because it's in the head. Nor is there enough room for an MK2. Yes, an MK2. Let's go full on in. This means that I won't have additional weapons, but he's going to be very hard to take down. Very tough mech with reliable weapon. Means we're going to need ammo for this. Let's put it with the case. Alright, three tons left. And two slots. Oh, 
What do we do with that? You're... We could add a wee bit of armor. We could add the uh, maybe short range weapons in, in case something comes into our face. It's not like I'll be able to fire the arrow four in short range. That would be uh, problematic. And I do need to improve the heat a little bit. Uh, we're not heat neutral. If I slap on one of these, there's now nothing left, but I am minus three. Hmm. This works. We have two tons left. A bit of thing. It's too much. Hmm. All right, well, you're going to stay like that. You're going to be like the Nova Cat in Unfinished Project. Because if I can have a lower weapon uh, heat for the PPC, it would be amazing. Like a weapon mount uh, lower heat. Or a upper recoil plus. Even more accuracy. So you're going to be like a Nova Cat. An unfinished project. Where we could add the accuracy bonus somewhere. With two tons left. Okay, this is a 4.5 million build. But I think it would be interesting. And if we can achieve a direct fire... A uh, guided ammo arrow 4 headshot. I will be a very happy man. Cool. So, it's unfinished. We still want uh, more accuracy stuff in you. Uh, like the Nova Cat, it's the same idea. He's uh, incomplete as well. He's been incomplete for 30 episodes now. But, oh, maybe 20 same thing we have one ton of something accuracy you want to add somewhere which in a perfect world would probably be a turret mount so it's the same deal as soon as we find something to stack in you we will let me give you this I should have given to the other one Give you a range finder. Tensor Clan is not too shabby as it is. Uh, the recon, is it any better than the Sensor Clan? Yes, because it has bonus to two things. Okay. Sometimes it's worth it to go back to your old builds and see if there's not new things you can put in it. Alright! So that was great. That Zeus is going to be interesting. I'm very curious to see if we can get headshot in Arrow 4. Well then. That building took a little while. Is there a schnittel solo duo that we can do to end the episode? There is. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do a simple duel to finish the episode. Get some repairs done. Who should we send as a dueler? That is the question. That is a real big question. Don't really have a dual focused mech, but we'll figure it out. So, a little duel, a fast one to finish the episode let's go well the rifleman too could have been a someone different that and we did win a, win a duel before with uh i know with uh, the catapult using the, the stealth to f around 
The Orion is, of course, always a good mech to send there. I think I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna send our catapult. Even though the catapult doesn't have as much firepower as, say, the Orion, the stealth in a solo, in a duel, can make the entire difference. Being hard to hit. So uh, we're going to play the stealth game instead of a overwhelming firepower game. The fire worm could be a good choice as well. But for now, we're going to try it with the catapult. We're going to play the stealth game. We're going to use the mimic stealth, not move too much. Try to get it to uh, fire on us instead. So... Little solo duo, and I'll see you in a moment. All right, a nice little solo duo. Let's hope we make it all right. Command interface. Red Knight, which is gonna help for our stealth. Okay, so hmm, not the best positioning. Can I has the high ground or do I have to go through that crap there? I can has the high ground, I think. Yes. And we have Corsair. I don't mind poking it with indirect. Okay, what you got? Ultra 5 and held MML 5. Large laser, large laser, large pulse. Well, it's a 95 Corsair. None of these stuff looks very dangerous, to be quite honest. So I won't bother moving. I'm going to stay right here and hit him at 48%. Sit on top with my stealth, where he cannot hit me at all. I mean... There you go. We're gonna soften him up this way. We're gonna, of course, pull out of here and use a dead fire when he's softened up. But now I see no reason to give him a target. That must be its MML. Oh yeah. I mean, we have one or two more volleys of uh, of these missiles. So when we're done with these, we're just gonna come out of uh, hiding and fire some dead fires. I think that's a plan. I'm out of long range missiles. There you go, my regular missiles are done. Receiving you. Now I'm gonna switch to dead fire. Say hello there. Sadly, I don't have an inner flanking uh, or side, but that will do. Gotcha. Just gonna sit here and use my stealth. Don't really need to move or do special stuff. Fire again. And goodbye. Well, there you go, guys. A perfect little duel using the terrain and the stealth. No problem. And I'll see you guys in a moment. 1.7 mil for an easy fight. I will take this. Take it to the bank. Don't think I even took a scratch. They want to give me Gauss Rifle instead of the Corsair. I'm gonna accept. Honestly, I didn't care about the Corsair. I don't care about the handheld. I don't care about any of this. Quite frank. Eh. Goodbye. Cool. So it was an easy little money. And I'll see you guys in a moment for the conclusion of the episode.
Very well, I think it'll be it for this one, guys. This was a productive episode. We got ourselves an axe, a warthog, that uh, is going to be a project for a while as well. Uh, we're doing quite all right. We're just always looking for specific pieces of uh, equipment to truly be able to finish our build. Uh, mostly accuracy stuff, upper recall, turret mounts, uh, C uh, C3i. Always looking for these things. So, let me know your thoughts in the comments, and please do some YouTube stuff, including subscribing, if you don't mind. And I will see you next time. Thank you.